Let's look back. Head coach Urban Meyer joining us for his weekly chat from Columbus. And coach, I want to get your take on Wisconsin <clears throat> falling to Illinois. And, and this isn't to conjure up bad memories because, frankly, every coach who's ever been in your shoes with a highly ranked team has been in that situation where an opponent that you are favored to beat and beat by a considerable margin already is, is in the game somehow. How does a game slip away like that from a prohibitive favorite and from the team that probably has better players? Well, this time, this time of year, it always comes down to injuries and prep. And uh, Wisconsin had one of their best linemen out, their fullback out. And, that, and, and I, I just go back to last year. We had uh, the best player in football, Nick Bosa, was out. And Chase Young had a high ankle sprain at this time. And, and it's not just so the game. It's the prep for that game, the Tuesday and Wednesday practice. And Coach Weinstead knows that, and all coaches know that. But I think that the most underlooked and undervalued piece, especially middle to late season, is health of team and the schedule. So, for example, if you got a if you got a tough tough road game or a tough game, and you're beat up, you can't practice that Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when things like that happen. And uh, obviously, you know, take nothing away from Illinois because Coach Lovey Smith and that I watched the videotape. They they did a heck of a job, man. Uh, they beat Wisconsin. That was not a fluke. They they. They lined up and they played really well on defense. They held the best running back in check most of the night, uh, best running back in America. So to me, to me, I always look at who you're playing, the healthier team, and the prep going into that game. And those, that's when things like that happen. As for this week, Coach, what's the particular challenge as we look ahead to that game between Wisconsin and Ohio State? From OSU's point of view, Wisconsin's unusual offensively in that you know, one of the few teams, as we know, still uses a fullback, still huddles, all of that type of stuff that used to be so typical in football and has disappeared to a large extent from the game. And then a, a difficult defensive scheme to prepare for, too, that Jim Leonard has put together. What's the particular challenge there for the Buckeyes? Well, the challenge, like I've used to add, I know Coach Day's dealing with it, too, is you really have not been into a game. You know, you've... Michigan State was very close at the first quarter, and, you know, other than that, this has been, you know, they've not been hit in the face or, or it dealt with adversity. You know, they've, they're have relatively healthy. I know uh, Theron Munford had a, a miss some time, but for the most part, that especially that defense, they are, they're rock and roll, and they're playing great defense. They're healthy, and they've, they've not played quality offenses. You know, statistically, you're looking at some of the worst offenses in the country that they faced, and... Uh, and that this week was going to be different. You know, this week is a good quality offense against a fantastic running back. Uh, I know they have a lot of respect for the receivers and offensive line. So this will be, you know, this will be the first test uh, for, for, the, for the offense. I'm sorry, for the defense. Offensively, they, they, they faced Michigan State, a good quality defense. But other than that, you know, they, they, have not, they have not had to rear back and give it their best, and that's always a concern at this point. Hey, Coach, let me ask you a question. Before I do, let me just say, boy, you do a great job on Fox, and I love your urban analysis, you and Jerry. Very oh, informative, very informative. Uh, you know, we, we both know everybody's talking about, okay, Iowa, the two-back team, right, com last year as compared to the spread offense, which Ohio State will be facing. We know that Wisconsin will use the fullback or a tight end back there. Let me ask your opinion on this. You know, the defense that Greg Schiano ran, okay, and we both know it very well. And uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of movement, you know, man coverage. Now Ohio State's playing four down, uh, very little pressure, quarters coverage. Do you think that will help Ohio State with, a, you know, facing a different type of offense than what they see every day in practice? Well, Dave, here's what we've done in the past. I know Ryan Day's doing the same thing is because I would always be concerned not about our defense facing a spread off because they face that every day in practice and spring ball and also training camp. But we would take 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes a day and give them the two tight end, give them the Wisconsin slash Iowa because that's going to come at some point and you don't want it to be a uh, uh, unique offense when they face it. You know, you don't want to say, okay, on Tuesday and Wednesday of that game week, you have to get ready for it. So all spring long, they've been working on Wisconsin offense uh, for 10 minutes. You know, I don't know if it's every day, but at least every other day, you spend time game planning, working on it, so it's not uh, a novelty for their defensive personnel. So they'll have a good plan, and I think the defensive style, they're letting, here's what they're doing, they're letting their players play. 
They're letting their players, you know, they're very, you know, that's as talented defense as there is in America. Uh, they're, that, the secondary is all high draft picks. You know, keep the ball in front of you, tackle well, and not, uh, not get out of position. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, I, I have to compliment you on that because everybody just thinks that these players just kind of showed up or, or, right, or fell out of, out of a tree. I mean, unbelievable job recruiting talent, which we know where, where it comes from. That's been a fantastic job you did there. Yeah, an absolutely Thanks, loaded coach. group and, and have played extremely well. Elsewhere in the conference, you had the Michigan-Penn State game that was kind of the focal point this past weekend. Penn State taking the huge early lead, Michigan mounting the comeback, Penn State ultimately prevailing. What did you take from that game, Coach? Now, that was a great football game. I mean, that was... Uh, that was Big Ten football. That was exciting. That was the, one of the toughest environments. And I give the Wolverines credit. They swung really hard. I didn't see that against Wisconsin when they played them earlier in the year. And, um, you know, I think their staff and their leaders, they just, they were right there. And that was, that was the kind of game you would expect from those two teams. I mean, that was an outstanding effort on both of them uh, by both teams. And, uh, you know, now, now what do the Wolverines do knowing that, you know, by high, high percentages, they're out of the playoff, they're out of the Big Ten Championship, and every player on that roster, every coach on that staff, that's the reason you're there. So that is really, really going to be, as you say, the captains earn their stripes, the coaches earn their salary. Uh, that's, that, now it's going to be a, a tough road, but they got a huge one this weekend. I think they're going to respond. You know, they responded against uh, Penn State down 21 nothing, battled back sure to did. really a you know, a drop ball in the end zone to tie it up late. I think they'll respond. they got a tough schedule, right? I mean, Notre Dame's up. They still got Michigan State. Of course, they got Ohio State. And uh, obviously, Ohio State had their number for quite some time since 2012. So I think it's going to be interesting how they respond. If they can do it in a game, they can do it for their season. Oh, this is a huge one, no yeah. doubt. I mean, I understand it's a non-conference game. But, again, it is a rivalry game. With Notre Dame, if you fall to five and three, all of a sudden, all of the good feeling which came out of that second half of that right. Penn State game uh, dissipates very quickly. Urban Meyer, great stuff as always. Thanks so much, Coach, and uh, we'll see you down the road here. Good seeing you guys. Thank you.